Mm. This will be... Mm. Ah. May, uh... May 6th. Ah. Uh, uh, creepy. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by... LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them. May 6th, uh, 2019, Winchester. Proposals for a zero aggression national defense protocol. Serving the peoples of an independent New Hampshire. And if they are listening, perhaps uh, many other beloved places. It is said uh, there are no hero nations. Perhaps no benevolent nation states at all. For a monopoly, it gets a, a little better than uh, standard oil. Was. <laughs> and in most instances, proves itself to be uh, dramatically worse. It is also said that a country must have the capacity of defending itself. That goodwill and unoffending, or they can accomplish much, or not enough in the face of a rapacious enemy on the scale of a Brezhnev or, or a Kaiser. This, this, uh, uh, this oration will, will, uh, will aim to answer the question, what are the methods by which a small country, in this hypothesis, an independent New Hampshire, might best defend itself from state-level predators without reliance on the ruinous and bloating expedient and of <laughs> the ru ru ruinous and bloating expedient of taxation or upon any act of aggression against any being with whom we are capable of detailed communication. In some ways this question has been answered in practice in real conflict and in the, the most troubling predicaments. In others it is not uh, it is not even yet been uh, examined. Mm. Mm. Uh, uh, perhaps I, uh, ha having only the, the briefest experience with warfare as a, as a visitor uh, to, to the, the Sandrud peaks of Bosnia, am not the ideal figure to uh, articulate these concepts, uh, gathered primarily through lay study and simulation. But perhaps I can uh, at least commend, or in some cases recommend them uh, to you, and to the consideration of a world which does not seem to lack in need of them. Mm. Mm. Upon those of us who lament the excesses and wastages of nation-state conflict, but not the necessities of self-defense, even for great groupings, it falls, uh, it falls to lay out alternatives against both uh, a large-scale warfare and craven appeasement. Uh, during the century last, we witnessed three times, on three cruel but glorious battlefields spanning near the whole blue sphere, a dismantlement of three great aggressor empires with, uh, with world conquering in their eyes. On each occasion, uh, more than the previous, it, um, uh, more than the previous, it was, um, it was these forcibly united states which played an ever-increasing, sometimes even brilliant performance in the fortunes of these martial but strategically defensive endeavors. During each struggle, both cataclysm and tense impasse, their rulers presented themselves uh, the champions of uh, free thought, or at least the freedom to engage in it. They were, it is true, these things only in the most relative sense. But when the killings and espionages had ceased, 
or at least ceased to be world-spanning wars, uh, a great burden was lifted uh, from the backs of a yearning and prostrate humanity. Suffering as it was under the privations of empire, of Nazi and neo-Bolshevik alike. I call them neo-Bolsheviks because, uh, well, it's a I suppose it was Brezhnev's mother who once asked him uh, what will happen if the, if the Bolsheviks return. <laughs> yeah, but in the, in the event, um, uh, at the end of these uh, eight dozens of years, as the 1900s came to their close, uh, the American government stood uh, near everywhere triumphant, and for a time everywhere uh, restrained by its own uh, relative good sense. Again, we must stress the word relative. No, can't do that. Federal agents on the streets of Keene, New Hampshire. They're investigating reports of an unlicensed radio station said to be broadcasting LRN.FM. So why all the fuss? What is LRN.FM? Well, it's probably not something these agents want you to listen to. It's a 24-hour news talk broadcast, all pro-liberty. A true authoritarian free zone. Tune in at LRN.FM to listen or broadcast their signal. LRN.FM Feds don't want you to hear them.